it is a wonderful day that the Lord God Almighty has made and we will rejoice and be glad in the day. I'm so happy to be with you again today presenting the Open Heavens Reflections based on the Open Heavens Prayer Guide written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Bumi Adekola and I'm a pastor in Christ Love Assembly, Didcot, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxfordshire, United Kingdom. Our topic today says, Why You Need Jesus, Part 2, is the part 2 of a series. A Bible passage is taken from John chapter 10, the first 10 verses. And I now read, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheep fold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens the doors, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All whoever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. We bless Jesus for coming to give us life more abundantly. A memory verse is the 10th verse of that John chapter 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. We now reflect together. Continuing on the lesson why we need Jesus today, we can identify that we have abundant life in Christ Jesus. Abundant life is not about what we have. It's not about what we get. It's not about what we claim. Ultimately, abundant life is about what we receive as a gift from the Lord and to live knowing we are stewards of the blessings of God. It's not a sin to be rich, though it might be missing the point if we die rich. Furthermore, stewardship is not measured by what we have received but by what we have given. At the end of the day, perhaps that is how we know we have an abundant life, when we have shared a life with others, when we have enough of the blessings of God. For instance, His mercy, His peace, His love, His grace, His wisdom, and so on, to share with others, and then actually do it. That's when we truly have abundant life. Jesus gave us His life freely, and he gave us the gift of abundant life. In return, he wants us to share both our lives and what we have with others so that the life and love of Christ can be made manifest in our world. The key point for us all to ponder about is that those who assume that the devil is no thief, they do so at their peril. So be wise. The Lord will continue to protect us against his wives. God bless you.